Andrea Rosen, I'm the curator of the Fleming Museum, and I'm here with Associate Professor of Printmaking and Drawing, Mildred Beltre. We're talking about recent acquisitions for the museum and how they were made. We're talking about Sanford Biggers, the past they brought with them, and we want to talk about how an artist works with a print shop to create a multiple. How do you think the artist worked with the print shop here? So working with a shop um, is something that a lot of artists do, you know, they get invited to make a print. And so artists, even artists that don't have any experience in printmaking can work with an expert in a print shop or a master printer in a print shop to create work. This is an interesting piece in that it, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have typical print qualities. It, um, it's a collaged piece with a spray painted, with spray paint through a stencil or over a stencil and then a silk screened area, um, but it is additioned. And so it's interesting to think about how sort of like a process that looks um, maybe more improvised can be something that can be routinized and turned into an additionable object. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I think it's also interesting to think about like the role that stencils have in, in printmaking or how something as basic as just a stencil, right, is sort of like, um, can be a part of it or ways in which printmaking ideas make their way into other processes, you know, such as painting or collage. So I would imagine for a piece like this, the artist probably made this collage and then either in conversation was able to or, or just hand it over to a master printer who then would create stencils for each shape and then be able to reliably cut each piece put it down and then be able to lay down the stencil and the, the silk screened element, which is on the top mm -hmm. right. And so it would be, um, so it's more a process of like assembling a piece in the same way, like it's more like how you might, you know, manufacture something in a factory, mm -hmm. you know, where like you have, you know, you have the sample, you know what it's supposed to look like, and then you, um, again, like mechanize or routinize the, the way of assembling it reliably the same every time and then produce um, the print. Mm -hmm. And I think that's another, I mean, I think that's another, um, I think teaching wise, I think I also like how this, a work like this really like opens up what the possibilities are or how you can combine printmaking with painting, with drawing, with collage um, and, and what it means to make a repeatable image. Mm -hmm.